Or big time badass Spider Man. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Star Wars action figure review on not just one action figure, but all six figures from the Wave 32 Star Wars 6 inch Black series. Sure, I pick these up. You can do so at Megalopolis, City, City of Collectibles, where you can pick up your Marvel Legends and all kinds of other action figures. They have their daily deals and an awesome rewards points program. So check them out. Link in the description below. Now, I've been wanting to review these for a while, and I know we have a lot of obscure characters, so I'm doing all these figures in just one video over here. As you can see from the left, we have Chopper uh, from the Rebels cartoon. We have Obi-Wan Kenobi from the Phantom Menace. We have Ezra from the Rebels cartoon. And then Dr. Aphra, BT, and Triple Zero are all from the Star Wars comics, which I've been a fan of. So I'm really excited about all the figures that we're seeing over here. Uh, you can see that we get a number on each side. So we get 84, 85, 86 for Ezra. Dr. Aphra is 87. And then BT is 88. And Triple Zero is 89. And on the back, you can see read-ups for each of these characters characters, so if you want to read it for triple zero, go ahead and pause it right now. Here's a read up for BT, if you want to read it, pause it right now. There's a read up for Dr. Afra. there's a read up for Ezra, there's a read up for Obi-Wan Kenobi, and there's a read up for Chopper. And then there's really nothing on the top or at the bottom of the packaging for each of these, so let's get to it and crack these things open. And here's all six figures out of the packaging, and I think this is a really good looking wave. I know there's, you know, a lot of obscure characters, not everybody reads the comics, not everybody watches Rebels, but hey man, I really like these characters a lot and I really think these are great looking figures. I'm not going to go through every single figure through great detail. This video is more about taking a rough look at the whole wave in its entirety, so let's get a closer look. I first want to take a look at the Padawan Obi-Wan Kenobi. I think this is probably one of the more desired figures from this wave and it does look fantastic. That does look like Ewan McGregor. The photoreal technology on this thing is just amazing, man. Uh, I think the flesh tone looks great. He does look a little on the pale side. I like how the eyes came out. The likeness, I think is just dead on. I think they did a fantastic job. I had this extra little bit of paint right there on his cheek. I just noticed that now, but you know, it doesn't really bother me that much. It really looks like him. You got the Padawan ponytail right over there, or side tail, I guess that's his real ponytail, but I love that color mixed in there with the hair. That looks really good. And then, you know, as always, you know, the wardrobe on these Jedi look really good on these Black Series figures. Single jointed elbow right there. The belt looks really good. Nice picked out detail throughout. I'm digging that. I did drop his lightsaber. There it is. Yeah, and it looks really good. I like it. Nice paint detail. Nice little silver touches. Got the red dot and everything. And you could go ahead and port it onto his hip, uh, just like so. So it doesn't have the little hook piece. You're just going to peg it right in there. So that's pretty neat. And then looking at the rest of the figure, it looks pretty solid, man. He does have a hand right over here. It looks like uh, he's got trigger finger ready. Huh? 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 And then right here on the pants and boots, not looking too bad. And he does have pickles at the bottom of his feet. And the articulation is very similar to what we've seen before in the past. Uh, looking at the blade, I do like this blue color. Looks really nice. And just ports right in right there. And that works out pretty well. Uh, for a quick face comparison, I wanted to show off... Uh, the other Ewan McGregor, Obi-Wan, I think this is from Revenge of the Sith or Attack of the Clones. I, I get the two confused as far as his look goes. I think this is Revenge of the Sith, Obi-Wan. He's got a little bit of gray hair on the side right there. But man, that's horrendous compared to this newer one, right? Ah, this is so much better. And then next up we have... If you guys like Rebels, uh, you're going to be really happy about this figure. I love this piece. This is actually one of my favorite figures from this wave. So much stuff going on over here. This looks amazing. I love the paint detail, all the dirt and rust and all that stuff. I like how this is all kind of tilted right here. You can see some nice detail right there. That looks really good, man. Very pleased with this. Uh, you could rotate right up over here. Uh, you could go ahead and take the arms out. And I used to think this was a very annoying thing with Chopper at the beginning, you know, it was like, and, you know, super, you know, eccentric arms waving around all over the place. But I actually like it. <laughs> now I like it, but you, it articulates right at the elbow right there. And then to put him back in place, you can just bend like that and then fold all the way in. Do the same thing on that side. So that's cool. You get the arm that comes out of the front of the figure right here. And that has a bit of articulation. So that's cool. And just flop that all the way in. 
yeah man, I dig this. Then he has the wheel option right here and you get wheels at the bottom. Uh, you can remove the left arm. I think it was because he was in disguise. I'm trying to remember exactly why, but yeah, you get this uh, swapping option right over here. I'm trying, I just can't remember off the top of my head. It's been a little while. But you can take the wheel out, which rolls very nicely over here. And you can replace it with this jet booster effect right here. I'm just calling it a jet booster, but it just goes right through his colito. And bam, now you got a flying chopper, which is really cool. But it doesn't end right there, man. Uh, you get this added explosion ex effect right over here. And I love this. This looks great. Wow. Nice white paint over the translucent orange plastic. Looks really good. So you can just go ahead and port this in right over here and put it on display like that. So it looks a little weird when it's zoomed out, but you can see yeah, if I port this in correctly, he should be able to go in just like that. That's how I thought it was going to work out. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad at all, right? So, yeah, see, that doesn't look too bad at all. I think that is pretty awesome. Uh, one thing I didn't mention was that you can rotate the head side to side, of course. So, that is very cool. I really like Chopper quite a bit. And then next we get Ezra, which is actually not my favorite figure from this wave and not my favorite character from Star Wars Rebels either. I was hoping to like Ezra a lot more uh, at the end, and I did like him more than I liked him at the beginning. He's supposed to be kind of, you know, dweeb. Young kid, I don't know my way, and wah, 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 you know, but you know, he, he kind of grows up a bit, and that's pretty cool. But yeah, it was really about Keenan. Keenan was the character that actually was the MVP of the whole show, I think. But anyway, I do like this dark blue hair that he has right there. I think the face looks good, so it very much reminds me of the show. And I like how his attire came out over here, it does look pretty good. You know, they hit all the marks I'm expecting them to hit, it looks pretty good on the back. And then looking at the hips and nice detail throughout, the pads look really good. I do have a problem articulating his feet, like I have a hard time actually getting his ankles to churn up at all. Like that's my biggest gripe with this figure. Uh, all the other articulation is, you know, fairly familiar and everything. Single jointed elbows though, that bugs me. But yeah, this wrist, you know, goes in and out and this one goes side to side. Uh, his lightsaber I have a hard time dealing with just because I'm scared to try to take this out now. It's gotten a little bit loose right here and I don't want that to break but it does look pretty good uh, it does have the little hoop right over here and he has the hook on his hip so you know if you're able to get the blade off you can just swing it around over here and have his lightsaber hang at his side which is kind of tricky to do yeah like that yeah there it goes okay pretty tricky to do but yeah you can just find it and that'll work out if you can just get this off right there so that's pretty cool and Ezra also has his training helmet right here I believe this is what his training helmet looks like right is that right I can't remember exactly but I'm pretty sure this is his training helmet and I think this looks really good it fits right onto the figure pretty well and I don't feel like it damages his face or anything like that so I'm pretty stoked about him having this and then we have BT oof man I love this character I actually like all the Dr. Afra characters but that is so menacing these evil droids are just fantastic really love the Dr. Afro books. I, I sincerely think you should check them out if you have not already. Really good books. It's very much intertwined with Darth Vader and yeah, just very cool overall, but great looking droid over here. I believe this is based off of the R5-D4, which I really need to get. That figure's been out for a little while. I don't know what the heck that was on my finger. Maybe a little piece of paint, but yeah. I like all this trim detail right over here, and I love how we get this little bit of sparkle in the plastic, so that looks great. And man, he has all kinds of features going on. Uh, he does have the drop-down feature, so you could, you know, churn his head, and then the foot will come down, so that's cool, very much like R2-D2. I believe the whole lower section is based off of R2-D2 and then you could you know go ahead and drop it down by turning the other way you can move the legs up and down they hinge and he has wheels at the bottom of everything he has a lot of the similar features that R2-D2 has like you can open this up right over here and you can see the little arm thing he can come out same thing on this side you could pop this off and reach in there and you can get another little arm thingy coming out right there so that's cool that you can do that uh, you could take off these little side panels on his legs and he has little effects pieces that you can attach right over here uh, I'm gonna use this uh, yeah this is the right way there's like a smaller port and a larger port so you kind of want to just play match the shape and you can just go ahead and put that on this side right here and then this one you could take off and then go ahead and take this one and put this effect thingy right over there on the side so that's very cool and then you can remove these panels on the side of his head 
and take this off. And he has his other weapons that you could go ahead and port on right here. And then you could take the panel and put it back in place so it looks like that just popped out at you. And same thing with this side. It's like a little war machine. Just very cool looking character. I just like these menacing droids. They're just really, really awesome. But bow, bow, that's so sick. Uh, you can't articulate this up and down. Uh, it turns side to side up over here. So that's cool. You get two hinges on this. This just moves up and down and turns side to side. But yeah, man, I think this is very cool. I really like this BT figure. It's awesome. And then we have Triple Zero, who's also quite terrifying because he does look just like C-3PO. And when I read the comics, I still hear C-3PO's voice, Anthony Daniels' voice, but it's like an evil version, I guess. I don't know. But I think this looks fantastic. I feel like they hinted at this in the Episode 9 trailer. I don't know. I could be totally wrong, but I felt like they hinted at a Triple Zero over here. But I love how he looks so dirty. I love this uh, delicate brown over the gray. Looks really good. And it's a gunmetal gray color. I love gunmetal gray. Looks really good. You know, very much similar to C-3PO over here. I like all these little bits of silver throughout. That looks great. Here's looking at the back of the figure. All the wires and stuff are picked out in nice paint detail. And looking at the legs, look really good. Of course, he still has peg holes underneath his feet. I mean, I guess there's parts that don't match perfectly, you know what I mean? You can see, like, the brown paint doesn't go all the way down to the calves. I guess that'd be nice to see it a little bit more thorough. Same thing with the arms right over there. It's a little bit sparse with that nice brown paint, but I still like it. And I really like the accessories that he comes with. So he has his torture hands. Uh, you could go ahead and take this off and then port this hand on here and he's got all these little torture devices coming out of his fingertips. I think that is freaking awesome. I love that. And he has one for his right side too. So you can go ahead and port this on. That looks great as well. Ooh, that looks scary. Yeah, I love that. Uh, both hands turn side to side. So he doesn't have an up and down motion at all. They just turn side to side. So that is pretty dope. I like this a lot. Really, really, really happy with this one. And then last but not least, we have the gorgeous Dr. Afra, this is like my biggest like uh, fictional character crush right now, which is kind of funny because she's a lesbian, but I don't care. It's a fake character anyway, but yeah, she's basically like a she Han Solo in my mind, you know, uh, she's a doctor because uh, she's an archaeologist, so she's more like a kind of like an Indiana Jones, like for Star Wars a little bit, I kind of get mixed like Han Solo and Indiana Jones together because they're both played by Harrison Ford, I guess. But I really like how this headpiece looks. Nice paint detail except for that splotch. But yeah, it looks really good. I love that. Nice silver paint for the goggles. Of course, you can take this off and you can see her hair right there. Looking really nice. I dig that. I love this tattoo. I may get this tattooed on myself. I'm not sure, but I love that. I think that is so cool. Reminds me of Ex Machina a little bit. You guys ever read that book from uh, Brian K. Vaughn? Really good comic. But yeah, I really like the vest over here. Nice wash on her shirt. I dig that a lot. The belt looks really good. Nice pants. You got the Dr. Afro butt cheeks. Seam right down the middle right there. Nice picked out detail with the little silver bits. The legs look great. Nice looking boots. You can see the holster right over here on the side. You can take out the gun, which really reminds me of Han Solo's gun quite a bit. But it's not. It's different. And then, yeah, you can see she still has pickles at the bottom of the feet. She has high heels. Uh, the articulation is fairly similar to a lot of figures that we've seen in the past. I'm just going to go ahead and show this off in the trigger holding hand. So that does look really good. You can see that she has single jointed elbows that do bend in uh, just at 90 degrees. So I wish she had double jointed elbows, especially because I know that Star Wars Black Series can do that. Uh, but what's really interesting about this particular figure is that the torso articulation is really good. You get a diaphragm joint. It has great diaphragm pivot and she crunches forward and back at the diaphragm, but she also has a waist joint right here. So I don't think I've seen this on a Star Wars Black Series figure yet. You know, it's pretty interesting. She does not have a waist swivel as well. But yeah, having the diaphragm joint and ab crunch on one figure is just something I don't remember seeing on a Star Wars 6-inch Black Series figure. So I'm pretty happy about that. Oh man, really like this figure. And to bring a ruler in here to measure out all these figures, you can see that Chopper is the smallest one, standing at about 3.5 to 4 inches tall. Uh, it looks like Dr. Afra and Obi-Wan Kenobi are at about the same height, uh, just at about six and a half inches tall. And to show off only a couple of size comparisons, here we have Obi-Wan Kenobi with Qui-Gon Jinn and Darth Maul. And do you hear that Phantom Menace music? Huh? I do. And 
And here's our Star Wars Rebels. I'm so happy that Ezra and Chopper round out the team over here. Very happy about this. We have Ahsoka, Keenan, Ezra, Chopper, Hera, and Sabine. Yeah, I'm very happy with this right here. It makes me very, very pleased to see all these in action figure form. <laughs> and then here's BT000 and Dr. Aphra next to the Black Series Darth Vader figure. And I like the height difference over here. We get a tall, menacing Darth Vader next to Aphra. A lot of intimidating scenes between Dr. Aphra and Darth Vader. And then here's BT and Triple Zero next to C-3PO and R2-D2. Ah, very cool seeing these four all side by side like this. So again, I gotta say, this is a great set. I really like these figures quite a bit, man. I guess the weakest one for me is the Ezra figure, but I still would totally pick up Ezra. I uh, love the Chopper figure. So much stuff going on with Chopper, but my favorite one is Dr. Aphra, and then second is uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and then, oh man, it's a tie between Chopper and BT, and then I love the Triple Zero, and then at the bottom, I'm giving it to Ezra, but man, yeah. At the price range of around 20 to 25 bucks per figure, I'm giving this wave a sud rating of I love it! And I'd like to know what you guys think, so please let me know in the comment section below. If you liked this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell if you have not already. And a big thanks to all these people over here that support this YouTube channel. I greatly appreciate it, you guys. I have a giveaway announcement over there, so check that out if you haven't already. And no second Star Wars video today, but I will post another Star Wars video next Friday. So I'm going to try to make uh, Star Wars figure reviews go up every Friday. We'll see how that goes. If you want to follow me over on social media, you can check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.